it's your boy King Brandon and today I'm coming at you with another reaction video. Well, it's not a reaction video. This is a review. I asked y'all on Twitter like what if I should do like um TV show reviews and stuff like that. Somebody liked it, you know, y'all said yes. So I'm gonna do the show that came out yesterday. It's called Grownish. Grownish, yeah, that's the show. Um it's the girl from Blackish Yara Shahidi. Oh my I'm gonna leave my thoughts to myself. But, um, I didn't know what to expect going into this show. It's just like, you know, I, I thought it was going to be a lot different because it's moving networks. And, of course, you know, Freeform is more of like the more... You get topics that you wouldn't normally be able to discuss on like a ABC, you know. Because it's like more like a teenage-based audience. So, you know, it's you kind of moving out of the Disney zone like just a little bit but staying like staying in your own lane it's not too too much but it's just you know it's just enough to get the point across i like that about the show so let's get into this reaction review whatever uh whatever y'all want to call it i'm just gonna say it's a review so let's get into it yeah take me to the truth by the way boy took notes man handwriting terrible but i took notes I took, I took notes about the show, man, in purple ink, okay? So you, you know you, you know this finna be lit, because I got topics to discuss. I got topics to discuss, because, you know, we, we gonna be going through this whole series together, okay? This, I really think this is gonna be a regular thing, because, you know, I love the show. I love the show. Um, for what it was, you know, I love Blackish already, so, you know, you just giving her her own show to, like, you know, kind of shine and do her own thing, because, you know, in Blackish, you, we really didn't get that much, you know, like, character progression or, you know, like, uh, her improving and, like, growing that much. Because she was kind of like, you know, a side character and all that. And everything really focused on, like, uh, Mo and uh, Andre. So it's like, you know, you never really get the kid stuff. And now with, like, her going, you see in the episodes that's coming up, like, that's happening now, you see, like, more the spotlight on Junior and then the twins and then the uh, grandma and all the stuff. So I like that. I like that because it's like, you know, you're giving her time to shine and you're giving other people time to shine. So I like that. So the first thing we're going to get into is just, like, you know, the basic stuff that happened. So basically, um, the show starts off with the funniest bit, I think, ever. It's, it's, it's literally the funniest bit ever. Like, out of all, all the Blackish episodes, all the Grownish episodes, this was the funniest thing to me. It was like, it just opened with Dre on the phone with Zoe. I'm sorry. Uh, but he's just, you know, he crying and all that. He's like, he don't want to, you know, because he don't want to lose his baby girl. This is his first out of the house. So I get it. And he's just like crying and he's like, you know, it's all type of stuff at college. You know, I don't want you to go. And then she's like, y'all had, uh, what's it called? Freak Nick or something? Something like that. And he's like, you know what? You, you, you got a point there, but that was that was just great, man. That was great. I just, I love that bit. Oh, yeah, and the uh, Breakfast Club reference, you know, don't forget about him because, you know, you, you, you're going to forget about him. That was the only rule to the song, like he said. Don't forget about me. And, um, Charlie, you are still my favorite character. You're still my, because the way that he is able to, like, capture the awkwardness and just the, you know, just like, it's brilliant. Because it's so funny. And it's just like, you know, you do a good job at what you do. And it's like, godly, can't nobody do that like you do that. I love the way that he just, you know, it's like the stuff that he say, it's like normally to another person is stupid. But with him, it's like, it's just, it's just genius because it's just so funny. What else we got on here? Because y'all know, I told y'all I took notes. Oh, uh, yeah. So apparently, whores take college classes at midnight. I didn't know that. I ain't in college yet. You know, I'm a senior. I don't know how Yara's in college and I'm a senior in high school. We just saying I'm older than her. I am older than her. How? How? But whatever. So I guess, you know, whores go to school at midnight or whatever. And then they're in a class about drones. Well, it's like, it's basically a marketing class. So I guess that's how, you know, they give him the legitimacy because, you know, he works at a marketing firm whatever and he, he, only thing he does is play with drones and sell puppies I, 
Y'all picked the perfect character to do the goofiest stuff. Y'all picked the perfect character, man. Now let's get into the characters actually that's like in the um, first episode. As y'all know, we already got Zoe. She's the main character. You know, she came from Blackish. Now this is her spinoff. This is her own show. So we already know about her. And then after that, we got Nomi. At first, I thought it was going to be like Naomi or something, but you know, no A. But Nomi, she is a liberated woman who, you know, really doesn't care about what everybody else thinks. She's on her own thing. She really don't care what other people say, you know, and uh, she's kind of having this struggle. She's like, you know, she's she's in the closet, but, you know, she don't want to tell her people. And I'm like, you know, you might, it's 20, 2018. You might as well tell them, you know, it really can't be that bad. Next, we got Skylar and Jaslyn. Chloe and Hallie, you know, the, the singers. Congrats on the Coachella thing. Um, but y'all chemistry, I know... I know y'all sisters, but like y'all chemistry is just mm, move this over. Y'all chemistry is just on point. Like I, I, I love what they were doing. I love what they were doing because it's just like they kind of you know bounced off each other and it just gave you a vibe of like you know what I mess with them. I mess with them. I'm sorry y'all. I said Andrew, but it's Aaron. Sorry for messing that up. You know, disregard all the Andrews. I call them. It's Aaron. Uh, Andrew. He is a. Black Panther, Freedom Fighter, all that type of stuff rolled into one. Basically, like if Sam and Reggie from, you know, Dear White People had a baby, that's that's the product of that baby. That's the product of that baby. And, um, you know, peanut allergy wristband. Coolest thing out here. Coolest thing out here, you know, other than, you know, mask on 2018. Sorry I don't get on this video, but, you know, it's, it's, it's happening. It's happening. And then after that, we got Luca. He is basically Childish Gambino and Jaden Smith's son. He really is. You know, he has the style and stuff of Jaden Smith. And, you know, he looks, he reminds me of Childish Gambino. He really does. And he's just like a person who doesn't care, you know. Uh, some stoner dude, he's just, he just really don't care uh, about, you know, everything. He's just like mellow. And he's just, he feels like the most person who's like in his own element. Like, the most person that, like, he knows who he is and what he is. Now we got Vivek, the first straight A merit scholar drug dealer who's pushing keys. Like, he's literally a straight A student, a merit scholar, and he moving keys in school. He is, he, he the man on campus. Just know that. So basically, it's like, when this show starts off, it really gives... A Malcolm in the middle type of you know vibe to it because it's like she's like talking to the camera uh, and then she's like going into it breaking the fourth wall all that type of stuff it really gave me a throwback to Malcolm in the middle and I love how the titles to every episode is song references and like uh, music references I really like it because it actually ties into the thing late registration Kanye um, it ties into this the next episode bitch don't kill my vibe kill the vibe um, and I just, I really like that because, you know, it's just, it's the little things, the little things that matter, you know, it's the little things that matter. But it starts off with, um, all, well, I already told y'all how to start, but when they're in class, all six of them, they're in there because, you know, they, they make legislate, I was going to say legislation, registration, and now I'm going to tell y'all all the stories. Uh, Nomi, you couldn't have gave us 15 minutes before, you know, you're in the bathroom doing the nasty we couldn't even get 15 minutes welcome to freeform y'all welcome to freeform because that wouldn't happen on abc you just y'all that ship say up yeah y'all know that they have now abc this is this is how you know this is freeform show. this is freeform show wow i don't know why i can't talk now this is freeform show because that wouldn't happen on abc i mean not, not to you know like not abc but like you know freeform they like to you know test the boundaries do all of that stuff couldn't have gave us 15 minutes vivek dude you you're a straight a student and you miss registration to go sell some drugs you are my idol you are my idol man you're my idol bro actually no you're not but like that that's dope you that's dope that's dope. He had the best story out of all of them. Because it's just like something that you wouldn't expect because he's a straight A merit scholar student. You shouldn't be moving keys. Luca, he just really didn't care about anything or anyone. That's why he's in the class about drones. And apparently drones arouse people. I... Not me. Hilarious. It was hilarious. But when you think about it, I'm like, huh? But I'm like, but it was so funny. Aaron. 
you want a black teacher. That's it. That's, that's really it. We need more character progression out of him because, you know, he's kind of a little one-dimensional. He's just like the dude that she likes, but we never really get a glimpse of who he is as a person, unlike everybody else. We, we know that uh, Luca doesn't care about everything. We know that Nomi, she, you know, she's struggling with her own inner demons. You know that Zoe, she thinks she's all put together, but in actuality, she's not. And she's going to learn that she's got some room to grow. And like Andrew, it's like, you know, we, we I feel like we don't get it, but we just... We kind of need that because, you know, in the first two episodes, everybody else had this big, you know, they introduced us to the characters and, you know, they already started growing on us. You know, I, by the second episode, I felt like, dang, man, I feel like I've been watching this show for a long time. So if we can get some old character progression out of him, that would be great. And the twins, like, that is classic sibling stuff. You miss registration because you you bickering with your with your with your sibling. I like that line though. Talk about don't nobody open no ratchet ass girl. That was funny. Zoe, you are the worst friend ever. Like, ever. Like like when I say ever, I mean like it ain't no race. You the worst friend ever for that. You bogus. Now let's go get some French toast. <laughs> you get it? You know French toast. Ha. Now you know how I sound because that was bogus. How you gonna leave her at a? How you gonna leave Anna at a party? And she don't know nobody and she threw up. You know, you're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to help your people out. I get it, though, you know. you in a room, like, with people who you really don't know that much either. They're, like, older people that went to your school. And, you know, you're trying to look cool with them. And if you stay in help, you might not look the coolest. But still, you know, you got to stick to your guy code, your girl code, whatever. No man left behind. That's, that's, basically, that's basically what you got to learn from this. You got to apologize, which, you know, she did. But... You know, she's learning. She's only 18. So, let's give her, you know, let's give her something. You probably love one of your friends, too. So, basically, the moral of episode one is basically that everybody cried. Everybody opened up with each other. Everybody found out stuff that they didn't know about each other. We found out that, you know, Vivek, he doesn't want to be like his dad because he feels like his dad just didn't capitalize on the potential that he had. And it's just like, you know, it kind of it kind of irks him because it's like, dude, you you could do so much, but you're a cab driver. But he feels kind of realized, you know, he probably loves what he's doing. And he, you know, he already accomplished a lot. And he probably just going to leave it to you to, like, you know, capitalize on your stuff. He, get, he did it to give you an opportunity. So, you know, I feel like, you know, that's something that he going to struggle with a little bit, too. Just kind of, you know, realizing that, you know, his dad's happy doing what he's doing. So, you know, you got to go do you. And if you feel like you can capitalize on your potential, you go do it, too, you know. I got it covered, basically. Like, I'm going to let you do you now. If you feel like you can go on, do big things, you go do that. And I'm going to love my job, love my family, everybody, and just do what I do. Um, we also learned that, you know, it, we, we, we getting some Breakfast Club vibes. We really getting some Breakfast Club vibes. Um, Nomi, you know, she... She's struggling with, you know, coming out to her family and all that stuff. Um, I feel like, you know, it should be, she should, she shouldn't feel as bad compared to, like, people 10 years ago, 20 years ago and all that stuff. Because, you know, people are more open-minded, so I feel like she should just try it with her family. Try it with her family, you know. And um, you basically learned a lot about everybody except for Andrew and Luca. Luca, you are, you, you probably... Charlie, my favorite character on Blackish. You might be my, you might, you might be, the, you might be the favorite one on this show. Cause it's just like you know the, the mystery, the mystery about this dude is just, it's there. And Andrew, you are like the most sane person out of everybody. And the twins, you know, um, what, what, what's going on with y'all? Cause like how you go from that to that, that's that. Them, them don't add up. Y'all just. Y'all have a very active imagination. That's that's what I'm just gonna tell you, cause I'm I'm not gonna go from that to that. I'm you know, like like Andrew said, you know, it's baby steps. It's, you just went from zero to one fifty, right there. And it basically ends off with all of them basically saying that they're like scared of the future and what the future may hold. I don't want to end up like my parents. I want to you know I want to love the person that I see in the mirror. And all of that stuff, you know, I, I don't want to become somebody who I'm not going to be proud of. My family's not going to be proud of. The world's not going to be proud of. And um, and it really ends with Zoe getting a new roommate, which was the funniest thing ever. Because, like, her face, if you could, like, somebody meme that face. Meme the face. But that's all for episode one. Let's get into episode two.
Bitch, don't kill my vibe. By episode two, you kind of feel settled in with everything. It's just like, you know, Zoe tries to battle, like, her schoolwork, her um, parties, you know, obsessing and stalking Aaron, which I feel is, like, it's, it's kind of gold, but it's just like, dang, G, he is so dumb, because, like, you know, you in college by now, I think you would know if somebody, like, likes you or something like that. And then she's trying to juggle, like, having a roommate that hate her, which, you know, in the end, she's not going to hate her no more, because, you know, time heals all wounds. It's been a long time. She could kind of tell, you know, she feeling bad because, you know, she kind of, through the episodes, Zoe was kind of, you know, trotting and all that. Trying not to, you know, make her mad or something because, you know, she knows she wrong. She knows she wrong. And her, she need to get her roommate out because, like, her roommate don't do nothing but go to class and sleep. That's, that's boring. First, um, it starts off with, like, uh, her talking about, Zoe talking about everybody has their thing and, like, they do drugs or they drink or do something like that. And she's like, you know, I'm just, like, I get a little buzz, but I'm not... White girl wasted, which I thought was a great line. She should have said chocolate wasted, because that would have had me dying on the floor. But, yeah, and then, it's like, it's so funny, because she's like, I'm never doing that, I'm never doing all that. But at the end, she's on speed. She's on speed. She's a junkie now. <coughs> Peer pressure for you. That's basically what this episode was, without without really saying it. It's just like, because at first, she's like, you know, I'm not going to do it. And her friend's like, you know, everybody's doing it. Um... And so you might as well do it, you might as well try it. And she's like, no, 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 you might as well try it, no. And then she finally does it and didn't go too well. She spent $3,000. I wish I could just blow $3,000 like that. Like, what? Like, what? And then the second time she took speed, she got all her work done and it was a breeze and everybody's like, hooray. And I'm like, dude, y'all supposed to, like, ain't the purpose of the show to, like, teach us life lessons? You know, she's not supposed to do this. So she ended up saying like she's not gonna make a habit out of it. But as we see later on, she's making a habit out of it. Cause like in the very last scene, Aaron hits her with that, you know, he hit her with the smash text. He hit her with the smash text. Talking about you up, you wanna hang? We see the little dots going off. She put the phone down and she take another take another pill. I'm like, you said you weren't gonna make a habit of it, but you're kinda making a habit of it. Um, what else covers in the video? Uh she had a 25 page paper. I swear to God, if I get a 25-page paper, I'm walking out and dropping out, and, and this is this is really my life after that, YouTube. Um, and she had a fashion project with Luca. That dude, he's like, he's 50 years ahead of us. He's 50 years ahead of us. I'm telling y'all, Jaden Smith, Childish Gambino, if they have a baby, that's Luca. That's Luca. He has the, he has the style and stuff of Jaden Smith, but he thinks like both of them. He thinks like both of them. You could tell he's just like ahead of his time. And he, he, he gonna be on to some big things. And I kind of think, I don't know, but I feel like it's gonna be, a, you know, a little triangle. Triangle. Aaron, Luca, and then Zoe. It's gonna be a triangle with them. I feel like Aaron is the choice that they want us to believe, but you know. Luca, that's gonna be the one. That's gonna be the one because he's gonna win everybody's heart. It's always the underdog that win everybody's heart. So it's gonna be him because you know they gotta cater to the fans a little bit. That would be what they would do. And um, Aaron, he is still woke. He's still woke. Like he is a Black Panther. He is Sam and Reggie's child. That's been episode two. I had fun doing this. I had fun taking notes and all that, watching the show like three, four times, figuring out all the stuff I wanna talk about. That was dope. And just like, you know, putting it in there. It's, this is going to be so hard to edit because there's so many cuts I got to make. So many cuts. But I enjoyed it. I hope y'all enjoyed it too. This is going to be a regular thing. It's a 30-minute TV show. Y'all should check it out. Uh, it come out on Freeform and then Hulu the next day. Um, it's been your boy King Brando. That was Grownish Episode 1 and 2. The review, I liked it. I loved the first episode. The second one, it was like, it was iffy for me because it's like, you know, we didn't really learn anything from that. Usually on like uh, Blackish and stuff like that, like Kenya Barris, he's a, the creator of the show. He's a smart dude. Like, he's really a smart dude. And like, you know, I really, I, I go, I come from these episodes and I know a lot more than what I learned in school. Like, that's, like, that's, that's the type of stuff I want to see in this too. But like, what a more modern, you know, dumb it down like to you know some millennium style stuff um but this is gonna be a great series i can already tell it's me boy king brando peace
I'll see y'all next week with the next episode of Grownish Reaction, Review, whatever y'all want to call it. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel, y'all. It's this thing I like to call the three clicks. You just like the video, subscribe, get them post notifications, because we doing this every week. Every week. Every episode that come out, we doing this. We reviewing the episodes. And so, you know, just subscribe so you know you can be in tune for the next video like this video right now if you enjoyed this like i enjoyed it too but it's been your boy king brando peace